I'm Nancy Lewis with the Independent School District, and this is Inside the ISD, a behind the scenes look at some things you may not know about the Independent School District. Today, we're going inside, and by inside, I mean deep inside. In fact, we're going underground. We're headed into the Executive Park Space Center on Geospace Drive here in Independence. Well, this used to be a, a mine years ago. Now it's the nerve center of the Independent School District's Nutrition Services Department. I work in an underground space. It's great. It's climate controlled. I never have to deal with the elements. It's perfect for operations for the business because, again, easy access in and out. Trucks never having to load or unload in the elements. It's wonderful. We love our cave. It's a never-ending operation. Groceries and supplies arrive here daily, enough to feed more than 14,000 students a day. Dinner programs four at four different locations. Breakfast, lunch, and snacks. Snacks at middle schools and elementary schools, all locations there. Um, FFVP programs, fresh fruits and vegetable programs, aside from meal programs that are set up during the school day. Uh, incredible numbers. The Independent School District serves 2,312,200 meals each year. Trucks arrive here and even in the middle of winter don't have to worry about unloading in the ice and snow. All of those supplies are organized here and divvied up among schools. It's amazing when you realize the amounts that flow through this cave. We had approximately a million and a half go out of here in groceries last year. What comes in must go out, so each delivery is bundled and wrapped and back on a truck it goes to be sent out to schools. Now you know what this place does have, a lot of activity, climate control, but there are a couple of things that it does not have. Are there any bats in here? No, ma'am. That's right, a cave without bats. There's also no satellite reception. Absolutely no cell phones, no Blackberry. Nothing like that works, so you're strictly tied to landline. Just a part of the ISD tucked so far out of the way, not many people know it exists. That's inside the ISD.